Hi. I'm Zelda. Can I have a chat with you? You want to talk to me? Yeah. Did I do something wrong? I mean, did I step on your toes or something? Come on, Alfred. You've done nothing wrong. I just want to be friends with you. Friends? Yeah, friends. But I have no friends. But you do. Your books are friends, aren't they? No, I mean real friends. Yeah, so that is why I want to be friends with you. But how come you even know my name? How is that possible? Who doesn't know the nerd in this school? Upon all their words. I'm a nerd. <laughs> sorry. Can we hang out sometime tomorrow to school? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think that'd be possible. I'm much more of a the person. I'm not that kind of guy you like to hang out with. Don't I worry. You could help in some math lessons. I just want to feel how it's like in your world. Mm. I'll see you tomorrow, Alfred. I love the way you speak your language. Like, me love how you speak your language. <laughs> <laughs> so you really want to learn? No, no, no. Not really. No, no. I just like the way you speak. It's kind of nice and funky. I think my sister is back. Alright. See you, Lara. Wait. I love the way you mentioned my name. Can you say it again? <laughs> Lara. Excuse me. Are you looking for someone? See you later, yeah? Alright. I called him to get her some veggies. I couldn't go to the market. But I asked you to go to the market. He has the freshest veggies in town. I don't care. I just don't want these rascals in my house. This should be your first and last. Do you even know this guy? I don't know him. You've been in this suit for what, three days? And you're inviting people into my house? I saw the flyer on the dining table with his number on it. You know, saying he sells vegetables. So I called him to get us some. And you're smiling with him like you've known him for, for years. I'm sorry. I brought some things, they are in the booth, so get them in. Bring them to the kitchen. First dress was hot. Mind your business, Pinto. Now your mama business. How was that part of your reggae music? I saw your mom train you to be disrespectful to your fellow. Um, yeah. If those fellows will mind their business, yes. You know, if you want my family to continue buying a little vegetables, I suppose you should shut up. Not to worry. Me, I mind my own business. One hardly comes by a soccer love and beauty like you in our part of the world. 
My name is Kojo. Can I buy you a drink? So you want to buy me a drink? Yeah, sure. What do you want? Do I look like an alcoholic to you? Sorry? <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Like, I come here to watch soccer, not get drunk and be taken advantage of by some dude. Please don't get me wrong. I don't think I'm getting you wrong, gentlemen. It all starts with buying the lady a drink and hand with the lady getting disappointed. I've driven off that road long ago. So please don't bother. Whoa, I think you're not being fair to me. All I want is... Drop my pennies down. <laughs> Deny it. You know what? One lesson. Next time, know how to start a chat and you won't get that bombshell. Shots of Jolly Daddy. Hey, you look familiar to me. Yeah, so do you. Do you live on block three? You're the lady at block 14, right? Yeah, we never. I know, I know. I'm so sorry. The nature of my job does not give me the chance to see my neighbors. Okay, I, leave the I house see. At 5 a.m. in the morning and at 6 p.m. I'm back home. So oh, this is so hard for me. That's one thing we have in common. I know, I know. Je m'appelle Yvette. Oh, you can call me Trish. I'm a banker. Well, je m'appelle Nana, but you can call me Nana ici, and I am a lawyer. Oh, wow. Nice to meet you, Nana. Now I got a lawyer in case I get in trouble. Well, I know exactly where to go when I need the money from the bank. <laughs> Anyway, you want some shots? Oh, thank you. I think I have enough. You've had enough, right? Okay. Do you want to get often? Um, I'm a soccer fan. Oh. Uh, but I come here to cool off my worries, you know, get drunk a bit and go home to sleep. Drinking your worries away, huh? Yeah, but you know what? The bizarre thing about it is you wake up the next morning and those worries are still staring at you in the face like they never went anywhere the previous night. The joy that you do, I hear that's the drink that boosts the guy's energy. They say. But I learned that it works similarly for women. Really? Mm -hmm. So you have a man? I wish, I wish. <laughs> Single. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking, where are all those hard-working men? You know, so loving to show us. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Um, who are you looking for? Um, I saw a young lady out there doing something untoward, and I thought it was necessary to let her parents know about it. Really? Yes, ma'am. Come on in. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, ma'am, uh, this is Raspin, the, the vegetable guy. I know him. Have you finished doing the dishes? No. So what are you doing here? I um, I came to get something from the table. It's not the young lady you saw. Slight resemblance, ma'am, but she's not the one. Certainly not. I raised my children with the fear of God. To be at their best behavior all the time and not to do differently outside the home. It's a part and parcel of them. Sorry for the interruption then, ma'am. No, 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 no. It's absolutely fantastic to know that people still take the pain to report to their parents the bad behaviors of their children outside in town. Would you like to stay for dinner? Oh, no, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Are you a Christian? Um, yes, ma'am. When you're talking to your elders, don't say, um, it's a sign of lack of confidence. Okay, ma'am. Now, if you see my daughter or my son misbehaving in town, don't hesitate to bring it to my attention. 
I will, ma'am. And having said that, I'll be needing mushrooms tomorrow, God willing. Do you have any? Yes, ma'am. Good, great. <laughs> I'd like to ask something for you. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Good night. Margaret? A lot of writers prefer to do the traditional three act structure. You know? But one can actually do four, five, six, and even seven. Depending on the genre, the writer's experience and style. Am I most ready? No. Okay, class, we're gonna act out this scene, okay? So I'm gonna play Juliet and he's gonna play Romeo. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, Romeo, please don't leave. Please don't leave me. I will. I promise. You promise? Promise. I can't let you go. I can't let you yet, but I have to go. Okay. Hey man, what's wrong with you in the classroom? Why are they doing psychic? Um, okay guys, um email me your assignments, okay? No excuses. Alright. Latest by 6 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 Hey, bro. Is everything okay? Are you well? Do I look so good? Psychic. You are the one lost almost every time you miss in this class. Mm. You know what's going on? My mm. man. following me. You won't answer my calls. It's not like I'm your girlfriend or something. Look, Alvin, I don't want to report you to the HOD. Oh God, please don't let him touch me. I know you want me. And I want you to. Forget the age difference.
Esselin. <laughs> that was an interesting lesson. Oh, you are in my screenwriting class, right? <laughs> Come on. Don't pretend you didn't see me staring at you. Excuse me. <laughs> Never mind. My name is Alvin. Alvin Nimako. Uh, I couldn't put down my name and email on the piece of paper you passed around. So. Okay. This guy is surely getting to me. What's up? Everything cool. Charlie Koju, Adi, Reggie, Wagwama. Adi, man, Charlie, you know. I see you chill. Charlie, have you known? Who did the system inside? I just see, I just see. Mm. Ah, what's up? Where did they come from? Oh, Charlie, just go get some vegetables and things, you know. Man, for just put for house. <laughs> you know how you do? You still do the music? Oh, yeah. One small, small like that, but Charlie, you can track self car and not do some. Good money, Charlie. System I see, reports. I see. But you yourself, how far? You still do the game inside? Like, I will go do one, um, Charlie. How else you go survive? I be you know that, Charlie. Yeah? Yeah, Charlie, small, small. So, you what do you do around here? Yeah, my boy come by house for years, so I went to visit him, you yeah. know. I just went over there to visit him. Are yeah. you, you there around here? Yeah. Where? Oh, they fast, man. <laughs> Forget the distance, why be chicken cook? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, 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 who that, who that? Oh, Charlie. Don't get that girl, man. You don't want to be snow, man. One of them lawyer girl, Charlie, you did the rush. Oh, Charlie, you they act like you don't know me. You hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you want to do? Hold on, you take my card, eh? Yeah. Call me and we go talk. Eh? Call me, make you not forget to go. Hey, could you? You know change. You don't try, kids. Your mom is not home. Sorry. Can I have a glass, please? Okay. Girlfriend. So you wanted me to help you with something? Um, yeah, actually it was some of the Namex assignment, but I figured every round it and submitted it. I just didn't want to bother you too much. So then why are we here? Alfred, I understand you know the outgoing type of person, okay, but I like you and want to be your friend. Do you have a boyfriend? What? Do you have a boyfriend? No. Well, then get one. Then I'll know your friends with no strings attached. Alfred, you can't be serious. I am. We can be friends and I'll help you with your work. So, if I don't get a boyfriend, meaning you can't be my friend? It won't work. Alfred! You left the 
get open. Who is this? She's my friend and she was already leaving. Good evening, Mom. How many times have I told you not to bring anyone here while I'm away? I didn't bring anyone, Mom. She wanted me to help her with work. What work? What work, I ask you? School work? That you couldn't do in school? Alfred, I'll leave now. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Mom, why do you treat me like I'm some wayward crooked child? You are not a wayward or crooked child, Alfred. But you will be if I don't check it, and that is not going to happen, not while I'm alive. I have no friends because of you, yet you are never at home. Books have been my friends since I was a child. It is not fair. I am never at home, Alfred, because I have to work my ass off to put food on the table and put you through school. Your father's people don't care. They want to take this house away from me. Tell me, Alfred, how am I going to be at home? Tell me. What have I done? This guy is so cute. God, please don't let this happen again. Gosh, he's not gonna stop pushing me. Goodness. God, please don't let him call again. Control yourself, Celine. Don't answer it. He wants to find out if you enjoyed it. Alvin, is that you? Please open the door. I can't get you off my mind. What are you doing here? Alvin, why are you stalking me? What happened between us was a mistake. A sweet mistake. I want to repeat. What do you want from me? Alvin, you know the school policy is against students dating their lecturers. Then I'll quit the school. What do you mean by that? Because I want to be with you, Celine. Please open the door, else I am not leaving. Alvin. Alvin, listen, please. You're going to put the two of us in danger. This has to stop. All right. Tell me you don't want me, and I'll leave.